Gene, yeah, Aries, Gene Wong for Washington Post. Can you take us to that last sequence you sold the ball there and you know, what you're able to do there defensively? Um, yeah, I kind of knew he was going to come down kind of at a fast pace, so I tried to get him squared up, and he, he ended up fumbling it, and, you know, kind of preach on that with the ball that's dead to him, kind of attack the ball, and ended up getting it still, so I'm just outlast for him coming down one. Jeff, like this group, kind of your first high-stakes college game, what was the experience like for you? Um, it was a really cool experience for me, just to be out here with these guys in this environment, um, playing against a great team. So it was just kind of exciting, you know, kind of take it all in, um, you know, enjoy every moment of it, but it was fun just to compete and get away with these guys. Mike, there are obviously a lot of pieces on this team. I think one of the questions was, you know, how would you respond if you tested, you know, tested the second game? What did you think of the composure of the group and kind of the way you responded? Because Florida did make that big run. Yeah, it showed a lot. You know, we, we had a lead. We ended up losing it, but we stayed with it. Um, I don't know, I feel like that just goes to how we work at practice, you know. Um, we stay competing with each other, even off days when we're having off days, we're still competing. So it was kind of this, us fighting back and we just stayed with it. David. Please, you know what it's like to transition here as a freshman and learn defense. How would you assess how the big fellow of the Bears handled that transition? Because he looks very active. Yeah, he's... Doing great, you know, I feel like when he came in, um, kind of disrupted their paint touches a little bit, you know, he's bigger, um, active, so he stepped in today and did a great job on just on both ends, had a great overall game. Jeff, Blake, did you have a lot of games in high school where you were on the line late in close games? Um, not, not too much, uh, but, you know, I just had to step up there. Last game was a little rough, so I just had to get the confidence from the line, get the nerves out. Um, once I started seeing them go in, I just started getting the confidence, just kind of started rolling. But, yeah, not as much in high school as, you know, cause a little different scenario. Big one in the back. Yeah, Anthony Romano, WDBJ. Reese, could you just speak to, you know, what it's like to play a game of that type of intensity back and forth with another quality opponent this early in the season? Yeah, it's great, you know, just to be in those positions with a new team, I feel like that's going to take us a long way, you know. Um, you got to go through things. Even if we lost, it still would have been a good opportunity just, um, just to learn from that and be in those positions. So just um, later down the road, we'll, you know, be a little more comfortable. But I'm glad that we stick with it today and came out with the win. Any other questions for the players? Just tried to be real active. I think, you know, uh, we saw Blake's got a motor. Um, he moves. You got great quick hands with Reese. Um, and then, um, you know, Ryan had six, six or seven steals. Uh, he was active. And, you know, that we had, to, we had to do that. Again, they had the size advantage, and they really hurt us on the offensive glass. We got some areas to work on. But uh, the quick hands and, and the guys playing, you know, uh, real heart was very important, and we had to do some things on ball screens. You know, sometimes you you find ways in your base system to um, be disruptive, and you know, good defense has to disrupt. It can't just be vanilla and you know let teams do stuff. And uh, there's too many good offensive players nowadays where uh, they can make some plays and do things. And I thought we whether we had to trap the post at times and scramble out of it or be aggressive on ball screens. Uh, those things in this game were important, and when you always have to make adjustments. Mike, Tony, there was a strange scene in the, in the final seconds where they called the ball for you guys, went back and seemed to re review it. We weren't sure upstairs what happened. What was your understanding of what went on there? No comment. That's fine. I, 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 we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it and we'll figure out what happened. So, did they, what did they tell you? That, did they go back and look again? Yeah, they did. So, um, but. They, I thought I thought we had the ball, but it's all good. Okay. Next question. Tony, how much do you benefit from playing with this intensity against a quality opponent this early in the season? Yeah, I think Reese said it best. You know, we talk about what it means to, um, you know, have genuine passion, and you can't fake it in games like this. A lot of mistakes were made by us, and I'm sure Florida feels the same. But it was a game where uh, it wasn't a, an excuse me game. And at times, you know, when we we did play excuse me basketball. 
um, we kind of got crushed, whether it was on the glass or there at the rim or we were not alert early on to the protecting the paint. And then when, um, you know, I think we like reset it well, when, when Blake came in and Dante gave us a great lift and then, you know, Jake got going, you know, with shooting, you just, you had to step in there and make some plays, but really um, kind of last man standing and outlast. And I think if you can have that mindset of relent, being relentless defensively uh, and offensively, uh, that's the name of the game. You're going to make mistakes, but you can't. And over the course of the game, that will take its toll. Uh, and I love what Reese said. Even if we had lost that game, is like how you feel it feel differently. But there's tremendous value in that. And we talk about uh, understanding um, what we're doing through this and what you know genuine contentment is and genuine passion. Because um, this is a, a setting that was good for that. And you know, no one knows exactly how good Florida is. No one knows how good Virginia is. Um, it was just a hard competitive game that was, um, you know, on the glass. And it showed us some things that we got to keep working at. Chuck, uh, I'm sure you would have liked to have seen the guys more, but the second game in a row, they got to the line. Yeah. A lot. Yep. Is there something, is this group, you think, more capable in that regard, guys getting to the basket? Yeah, I think, you know, it was one of those games where our first game against Tarleton, they really, uh, they, they were real aggressive the way they kind of tried to deny our cuts or stretched and all that. And then Florida was kind of at times doing the same thing. So, you know, the game comes down to sometimes you just, you got to attack and make a play. I thought we were almost getting too ball screen happy at times when we moved them off the ball and then plays were made, it was good. And, you know, Blake had, uh, you know, he was on the glass, Ryan was on the glass on the offense and then so it kept some plays alive. But um, it was just a matter of, you know, you can't always settle for threes. Now, obviously, we got some good looks, but you have to mix in the attacks at the paint, and that thought the guys did a good job. And obviously, Reese certainly can do that. Uh, Dante, as I mentioned, got some of those things, and Andrew was was steady too. Charlie, has Blake been a quick study? Yep. Especially no. out of the perimeter. Or he you know, he's that? he's got quick feet, and he's very active and mobile. When you find a guy like that, that's that continuous, that can anticipate. And, and keeps going, you know, whether your mind's quick, you're, you know, you have all that. As he gets stronger, he'll get better. But um, that really was was important. And, you know, when we scrimmaged, um, you know, UConn, I saw that in that scrimmage right away, you know, his activity. And so um, that's important. And, and again, I know I didn't use some guys, some guys didn't play as much. We have 10 guys and they'll all be able to help us. But sometimes in games, you just, you go with what you think. And I, I thought his, at least had gave us the best chance on the glass and actually you know, heading off some ball screen stuff too, and then with Ryan, because those, those are both mobile guys. Okay. Jake Gross had a stretch there offensively where we'll put it on the floor and shooting it. It looked like a real tough matchup. But what have you seen from him, and what do you do? We're going to work on his dunking game a little bit, so <laughs> that's, that's something that's uh, in the equation. But no, he's, uh, you know, he's an ideal stretch forward, but he's not just a guy that, like, only shoots threes. You know, he'll, he'll take a guy in the post, he'll drive. As soon as you look at him, he doesn't. He's not um, Roger Federer, you know, in poetry in motion on the court. He, he, he sort of moves in his own way, but he's effective. And, and he's aggressive, and he's, you know, he's got the experience. So that ability to certainly stretch the defense, which, as Jeff said, hopefully opened up some opportunities to attack because they had to be aware of him. But, but you know, getting some um, plays on the glass and, again, those drives and, and all that, I thought he did a real good job. And then, you know, obviously that foul got him vulnerable. But... We just decided the second half to ride those. I was gonna, you know, I thought about using Leon or even, you know, Jordan Minor in that game, but it was just one of those games where it would have been hard if you hadn't played to get in there in the second half. Take one final one in the back. Tony, what did you like about the way that your team responded when Florida would, would come back and tie the game or take the lead, or even in that, that last out of bounds situation? Right? Yeah, no, I mean, I think, you know, you, you know, those are the spots you're in there, and I, I probably lost my cool a little bit but when that call was reversed and what I thought I saw, but. Um, but you know, it's interesting. Ryan's like, next play, next play. You know, and I, you know, it's nice when the, the players are telling. You know, usually you're telling them that, but I was, I, I yeah, just yeah, I wasn't ready to move on yet. So I needed a little more time. I needed the, the long TV timeout for uh, the NCAA tournament, right? Those are a little longer. But I um, I, I like that they, they just kept their composure and they um, they battled through some mistakes and a couple of breakdowns and then had to make some plays and even. Making the free throws. We struggled our first game from the line, weren't great this game, but then made some key ones down the stretch. So those are invaluable experiences, especially, you know, we have one starter back, 
and so many new guys, and only three guys played, so that, that's important to be in those situations. Thanks, Tony.